Hey, what's up guys? Welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make stealth window car shades or window car covers. Now these are absolutely spectacular and excellent if you want to black out your windows for if you're trying to sleep in your car. You can legit sleep anywhere in stealth mode with these, my friends. <laughs> you could sleep anywhere. You could sleep in front of someone's house if you wanted with these. Legit, no one's going to know you're in there because it just looks black no one can see as well as if you're living in your car or living any sort of lifestyle van van life whatever it's really nice to have these as well if you're just gonna park and leave your car for a while I like to put these in my windows this side out not only does it block the Sun but it's like people can't see all up in your business if you've got like all your stuff in there because you're living in there you don't want people to be like oh what's in there oh my goodness what's that i want to go get it you know what i mean so these are amazing okay so a couple things that were important to me that is a little bit different than other videos or other people making these is I wanted to be able to put these in my windows without using any Velcro. And I also wanted to um, be able to put the black on, I used Reflectix. Um, I wanted to be able to put the black on one side so I can go into stealth mode, but I noticed that most people seem to use this like glue spray stuff. I didn't want to use that. It just seemed pretty toxic to me and I'm going to be sleeping with this. So I was like, mm, I'm going to do it a different way. All right. And I've been using these. Okay. I made my panels for all my side windows. And then today I'm going to show you how I did it and make my panel for my back window. Okay. So for First, I'm going to show you the windows with the shades in them. Then I'm going to show you the windows with the shades without them so you can see what a difference they make. As well as I made these for my 2009 Volkswagen Beetle, but you can just repeat the process for whichever type of car or windows or van or whatever that you have, any vehicle. All right, so the, there they are with the shades. As you can see, I'm very fortunate that my back is pretty tinted already, but you can see a little things in there. So, and especially if the sun is shining in it, so I'm excited to make my back one as well. Um, but there we have it. Oh dang, my friends, ain't nobody gonna know what the heck is going on up in there with those. <laughs> You could be anywhere. No one is gonna see in and then I figure I'll just show you me taking them out So pop that bad boy out. No need for no velcro or nothing. I love that. Here's my side panel Dang that was freaking easy. All right, and then there it is without them So definitely you can see what the heck is going on in there Like I said, I'm pretty fortunate that these are pretty tinted this these ones and my back but you can still see like I see stuff in there. You know what I mean? So go around To the other side People gonna be all up in your business. No, we don't want that. All right, and then these are my panels. So these are my All my side panels and they are Super like you can roll them like this and stow them away. You can fold them and stow them away. It just depends how you want to put them away. So they are very flexible in that sense, which is freaking awesome. All right, and then I thought I could just show you how easy these are to put in. Bam, they're in there, they ain't going nowhere. And then if you want this side, you just switch out. This one would go in that window and that one would go in that window and it would just be the same thing if you wanted the Reflectix part out. All right, and then the first thing that I did was I took my roll here and all I did was opened it like this and then I just did a rough cut of the size of the window and I just cut it down like that. And then all I did was stuff it in my window like this. 
all the way around and I marked it with a pen, like a Sharpie type pen, all the way around so that I had a shape of the window. All right, so unfortunately I sewed my black on the wrong side. I even wrote inside so I would know to sew the black on this side, which is really important. You wanna do that. Uh, you wanna write inside and make sure that you sew the black on that side because you're going to, like this could be the right window, this is the left window, and depending which side you use, they're gonna go on opposite windows, you know what I mean? Okay, so pretty much, once you have your outline, you cut around it, but you're gonna wanna cut not right on it. You want to leave some space. This is what's going to enable you to put it in your window without using any Velcro because it's going to stick in there because there is more and it latches on to the molding or whatever, the window, the like parts on the window, it's going to latch onto there. Whereas if you cut it just to fit in there, it's just gonna flop and fall right out. Which, if you do wanna use Velcro, then you would cut it fitted to the window. But if you don't wanna use Velcro, you cut it larger so that you can fit it in the window without Velcro and so that it will stay. So that is what I did. And now I'm gonna show you, um, this is my back panel. So I already made it, I already cut it out, and I actually had to, so two different pieces together to get this back panel to go. And I have a trial and error thing that if you need to make a bigger panel and sew it together, don't make the same mistake as me, it took me more time. All right, so this is my back panel. It's kind of hard to see, but what you really want to do is sew right next to the edge on both sides so that when it's folded, it's not going to want to come apart. If you sew to if you sew more in or a different type of stitch when it rolls or when you fold it it's just going to pull because this reflectix uh it can pull and just pull the things right out if it's sewn in the wrong way so take that tip from me i didn't do that and then i had to sew it multiple times as you see i just thought oh i'm gonna do this type of stitch that'll be good but then when it folded it was like i could see the stitch and it was like gonna come out all right so because I didn't want to use that spray glue stuff I sewed my black cloth onto the reflectix and it actually worked really good and just so any in case anyone didn't know I got this at Home Depot and then I got this black cloth at a fabric store And then I got a box of pins and I pinned around, I pinned the cloth to the reflectix. All right, now as you can see, it is pinned all to the black cloth. And now we're gonna cut it. And pretty much my scissors suck. Hopefully you have better scissors than mine. <laughs> All right, so now the black cloth is attached and it is time to sew. My edges aren't perfect or anything. My scissors are pretty dull and bad. Someday I could go in and make them all perfect, but it's gonna work for our purposes, so it's all good. Now it's time to sew. And pretty much you're just gonna want some strong black thread. This is just cotton thread and a needle and then I like to make it as long as possible so it goes as much as possible and I like to do a double thread so we've got our two threads
and then the needle like so and then I just knot it and I do it a couple times so that it doesn't pull through it's big enough and it doesn't pull through I'll do it like two or three times we'll do three <laughs> Three times is a charm, you know? And three's the one with the treasure chest. What was it? First the worst, second the best, three's the one with the treasure chest. Does anyone remember that from grade school? All right, and then I just cut that. And <clears throat> we're just gonna sew, you guessed it, all the way around. And I'll just show you the stitch. So this is a pretty easy stitch. It actually goes by quite quickly. We're not gonna be here sewing for days. So you just go through. It's important with the long string initially, you gotta make sure it doesn't tangle. And if it does tangle, you just gotta patiently get out those tangles all right, and then when you get close to a pin, you just pull out the pin and keep on going. See, so this is the stitch up close, nothing fancy, nothing crazy, just a basic stitch. I have finished, here we have it, our last Final piece of our stealth mode setup is complete. Up close and personal, that's the stitches. And sewing it this way, it's a basic stitch. It goes by pretty quickly. Stealth mode in full effect. Let's just open it back up. Ta da! <laughs> Alright, my friends, so there you have it. That is how you make blackout stealth mode reflectix curtains without using any of that spray glue or velcro and i'm just going to show you guys real quick how i've been storing these there's many options many ways i could also store them up top in my thing but this is what i've been doing recently you can fold them up however you want I like that about this so there you have it that's how I've been folding them as well as my tables behind there um, I may think of a better setup or store them up top but I just want to show you that is an option of a way to do it so thanks guys thanks so much for watching this video thanks for joining me and I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Peace.